Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seem and my face is a bit red and it's not because of some rash or itchiness. It's because I just came back from the sauna and in fact, I've been taking a sauna every day for the last three months. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I took a sauna every day for the last three months and what are my results. Come with me if you want to live. Saunas are basically sweat lodges or small rooms that are heated to high temperatures. There are many health benefits to such heat exposure or hypothermic conditioning. It improves cardiovascular health and lowers heart rate, better blood circulation and blood flow to skeletal muscle. It promotes physical endurance by increasing the heart's stroke volume, strengthens the immune system and increases white blood cell count, flushes the lymph system from toxins and pathogens, clears the skin and maintains youthfulness, lowers risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. Using the sauna 4-7 to seven times a week is associated with a 40% reduced risk of all-cause mortality. Taking a sauna has been shown to improve cardiovascular functioning and lower the risk of heart disease. In a study done in Finland, people who used the sauna 2-3 to three times a week had 22% less chance of dying to a sudden cardiac event than those who used it only once a week. Those who went to the sauna 4-7 to seven times a week were 63% less likely to experience cardiac death and 50% less likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to those who use it once a week. What? Fortunately, I was born and raised in Estonia, so taking a sauna is a very intrinsic part of the culture and people have been doing it for thousands of years. So during this late summer and autumn period, I took the sauna every day. I definitely missed a few days, but on most cases, I took the sauna for every day about 15 to 30 minutes. We have our own traditional sauna which we just heat up with firewood and I also have a clear light infrared sauna in the house. On most days I used the infrared sauna and I tried the regular sauna 2-3 to three times a week. The reason I used both infrared sauna and the traditional sauna has to do with how your body adapts to the heat. You don't never want to give your body the same signal all the time in terms of the heat and even in terms of the excess exercise and the cold and fasting and those things. You want to change things up every once in a while so your body could adapt to it again. Because if you're constantly exposed to the same, same type of stimulus and the same type of heat, then your body adapts and it becomes less effective. So you need to up the dose constantly. So that's why cycling between the traditional sauna and the infrared sauna helps my body to maintain its uh, adaptability in a sense. Infrared saunas use infrared lamps to warm your body directly unlike traditional saunas that heat the air around you. Infrared saunas stay somewhere between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius whereas traditional saunas can go up to 120 degrees Celsius. The infrared sauna also penetrates deeper into your body to target the organs, joints and tendons. So for the best of both worlds I used both saunas. So this is what I noticed over this three month period. I slept better. Saunas make you tired in a good way by stimulating the lymph system to mobilize fluids, relieve tension, lower inflammation and make your heart beat faster. This mimics an easy cardio workout and leaves you kind of drained afterwards. My sleep scores based on my O-ring are already pretty high but I noticed a consistently high deep sleep and HRV from using the sauna. Secondly, my recovery improved. Saunas are amazing for speeding up recovery from exercise and any kind of stress. It helps you lower inflammation created from working out, shuts down muscle soreness and also relaxes you completely so your body could switch from the sympathetic mode into the parasympathetic rest and digest. When cold exposure after working out has been consistently shown to inhibit some of the adaptations, then saunas actually enhance performance. 30 minute sauna sessions after working out two times per week for three weeks have been shown to increase the participants run until exhaustion by 32% compared to baseline. In rats, 30 minutes of hypothermic conditioning at 41 degrees Celsius increases heat shock proteins in muscles, which correlated with 30% more muscle regrowth than the control group during 7 days after they had been immobilized. Basically, taking an easy sauna helped the rats to regrow their damaged muscles faster. Heat stress also releases massive amounts of growth hormone, which will inhibit protein breakdown. Third, my skin stayed clear. Like the only skincare routine I have is eating a clean diet, exercising regularly, doing some intermittent fasting and you know taking a sauna quite often. So this is the only thing that I use. I don't use any lotions, no creams, no powders, not even any clay or anything like that. This is the only thing that I use and I don't really even pay much attention to that. 
Sweating in particular helps to eliminate bioaccumulated toxins and other infectious particles. Infrared saunas are slightly better in detoxifying because it penetrates the skin much deeper and it'll also stimulate collagen synthesis, which makes the skin more elastic and supple. Saunas aren't going to really make you burn fat either. Like you may lose some water weight, but they're not going to inherently make you burn a lot of calories. The elevation of your heart rate increases your endurance and cardiovascular performance, but it's not a massive calorie burn. Unfortunately, I didn't take like any blood tests to see any difference in terms of my biomarkers and health. But I think that there wouldn't have been any massive difference anyway, because my blood sugar and my triglycerides, all those things are pretty low already. So I wouldn't have seen like a massive difference. But what I did notice was that I didn't get sick at all, and I didn't get any cold. I didn't catch a cold at all during this time, and uh, part of it has to do with probably the strengthened immune system from the sauna. Now, although I think that taking saunas regularly is very healthy, I think that you don't need to take them every day, and I actually think that you shouldn't do it all the time either. Like like I said earlier, you don't want to expose your body to the same type of stimulus all the time. You want to change it up, and part of it has to do with kind of not getting used to the heat in the sense that you want to uh, desensitize yourself against the heat because imagine if you reach this threshold where you're able to endure 120 degrees celsius all the time for with no problems then you have to keep on pushing the limits you're going to have to reach 140 and 150 degrees celsius to reap those same benefits so it's kind of wiser and smarter to desensitize yourself against the stimulus so that you would get still the benefits from less heat research has shown that the optimal dose is about 15 to 30 minute sessions at about 70 to 100 degrees celsius or 156 to 212 fahrenheit about two to four times per week more isn't going to be necessarily better and you won't gain increasingly more health benefits when it comes to the infrared sauna then i think you can safely do it every day because it targets a different system and isn't as hot there we go yeah so, although I may take the traditional sauna only like two to three times a week, I still do the infrared sauna basically every day and as often as I can, because it's not going to be as, as hormetic of a stressor as the traditional sauna. You're still getting the benefits from the infrared, and that, that is more beneficial if you do it more consistently. I'm using the clear light saunas because their infrared lamps don't emit EMF. They can be fit in small compartmental spaces much better than a traditional sauna. I could fit mine into a small bedroom. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. Come with me if you want to live.